Hey everyone, it's Tasia. Welcome back to my channel. So for this week, we're going to be planning in my Erin Condren hourly planner and we're going to be using the e.l.f. 2.0 kit. Um, and I'm going to try and decorate and plan at the same time. <laughs> we'll see how that goes because usually when I try to do one of these talking plan with me's and plan and sticker at the same time, something always goes awry and I end up doing a voiceover. So if that happens, I apologize to you in advance. And I also apologize to you for my hideous nails. They are so bad. <laughs> like, so anyways, let's get started. Um, I was at Fred Meyers with Zach the other day, like uh, earlier in the week, and he accidentally dropped a can of spray on my, like right on the top of my foot, and it was so sore. And I wouldn't have cried if he didn't ask me if it was if I was okay. Do you guys know how that is? Like you're fine until somebody asks if you're okay, and then you're like, no, I'm not. <laughs> so, anyways, I lose my shit in Fred Meyer's, and I start like I'm trying to pull myself together, and I pull myself together enough to hobble my butt out the store and get in the car where I just totally break down, and so my foot swelled up and. Uh, it turned into like this huge bruise so all of my shoes were really tight and so I was trying to put on a pair of Converse and I broke this nail off trying to squeeze my fat swollen foot in there and then I broke this nail off and then I got really angry and I trimmed them all down and now they just look like nasty little nubs so <laughs> that's my long story of why my nails look so terrible I was trying so hard to take care of them and grow them out but oh my gosh it just it didn't work after that so anyways next up I am putting down the date covers when it comes to the hourly planner the stickers they fall just a teeny bit short like the columns are just a slightly wider than the actual sticker because these stickers are made to fit just the regular vertical planner but they work no problem what I like to do is I just center them so there's a little bit of space on either side it covers up the time and it just it works out so that's what I like to do and another th oh crap see what happens when I'm talking I put it too low <laughs> um, what I was going to say is that I'm not putting it all the way to the top of the planner sometimes I do but for I would have to white out that November because it would cut off part of the part of the word so I'm instead of doing that I am just going to position these right here just try to get that centered so where'd my Tuesday okay sorry you guys my Tuesday sticker was on my tripod um, but anyways today is Thanksgiving and so Zach and I we had bought like a pre-cooked dinner from um, New Seasons and normally it's really good and it wasn't bad but I wonder what that was but anyways and normally we get to just do whatever but the doctor had asked me to eliminate some things from my diet and one of them is gluten and so I had to get like this wild rice stuffing it was gross and like it just it just wasn't good although there is a good bakery that I found um, near me that you cannot even tell it's so good so we got our pumpkin pie from there uh, and the turkey was good I don't really like turkey so I don't know it I always say there's a reason why we all only eat turkey once a year <laughs> like because it's junk like chicken is so much better it's not as dry or anything like that so I don't know if I had to choose I'm gonna forget what dates I'm putting down if I had to choose if I was celebrating Thanksgiving with a, my family um, I would want a different cuisine <laughs> so Zach and I are making I think we're making like this pepperoni pizza pasta tonight and basically what it is are the pasta noodles butternut squash and then you use like tomato paste and some Italian sausage and kale I think are the ingredients of course there's a few other but tastes really good tastes just like pepperoni pizza and you're eating a ton of vegetables it's really good because you you spiralize the squash I think I said the wrong squash too it's just a yellow squash not a butternut um, but anyways you just spiralize it and it tastes really yummy so 
before I mess this up, let's put down the numerical portion. I get a lot of my recipes from the Against All Grain cookbooks from Danielle Walker. Everything I make of hers is just so good. She's really, her recipes are really good. And she has a YouTube channel that she does videos on. And so she had just done a video on that pasta not too long ago. So we tried it once and liked it. So we're making it again. Okay, so anyways, is this right? The 27th on Monday? Mm, yes. Okay, so now that we have all of that down, we can go ahead and I like to just knock the sidebar out and then start working throughout the week. The only thing I have kind of in stone is that I have a consult coming over for some painters. Oh, for those of you who watched my last, I don't know, it might have been a couple videos ago, but in any case, I mentioned that somebody was gonna come and give us an estimate for countertops. Yeah, that's way too expensive. <laughs> So, I mean, it would be worth it, but I, the countertops are fine. They just are not aesthetically pleasing. I cannot justify spending something for that. I don't know. It's just, I can't do it. So anyways, let's get to the sidebar. What I'm going to do, I was going to originally put this here, but I don't like all those feet. Mm, do I like all those feet in the line? No, I don't. So I'm going to put this top priority sticker first. I was just watching this movie last night. I love this movie, Elf. It's so funny, I was telling Zach, I think Will Ferrell is the only one who could have pulled that off because, I don't know, just Buddy is, it's just a really funny movie. Okay, so top priority and then this one says, you smell like beef and cheese, you don't smell like Santa. This kit is kind of fun. It just has little quotes and things that will remind you of the movie. So put that down. And um, next up we have the blank schedule, which I usually use for Stephanie's work schedule. This past week I was using it, geez, my pen won't keep rolling towards me. But anyways, this week I started using it uh, to list something I was thankful for that day. And you wouldn't think it would be that hard, but it, you really, like, I'm so easy, it's so easy to kind of talk about what's bad, like what's bothering you, or what's not going right, or what you wish was better. Uh, and then when it comes time to actually say what you appreciate or what is good in life, why doesn't that come as easy? It, I, we just train ourselves to think so negatively. Like I, when I used to work at the dental office, I used to come home every day. And if Zach asked me how my day was, I wouldn't be like, oh great, you know, this happened, it was so wonderful. I would immediately go to the bad stuff. It's just so much easier to grumble than it is to, I don't know. Long story short, I'm using that for this week and I really like it. So anyways, so we have the sidebar down. I have a little bit of extra space there and I think I'll just put a decorative sticker, maybe these stockings. Um, no, not the stockings. Those aren't going to fit. Put that here. Maybe these lights. Let's try the lights instead. And you know what also? I'm going to get the light out. Oh no, that sticky thumb. And I'm just going to cover this little dot up here. Yeah, that looks really cute. So we have that, and so let's start working on the layout. Let's put the headers down. I'm going to, surprise, surprise, I'm going to keep all of my checklists on the top, and then I'll get kind of decorative towards the bottom, I think. Or maybe I shouldn't do that. We'll see. So anyways, we're putting down this header first, and I just want to keep it lined up with my date cover and then it should work out fine and then the checklist for the checklist you have like these peppermint candies elf hats and presents and when you're putting down the checklists in the hourly planner if it falls near an hour that you don't want showing just cover it up with some whiteout I really like this whiteout from Bic it's nothing fancy but I think I feel like it blends with the paper really nicely so anyways 
you know what, I'm going to, just in case, because this kind of contours with the candy, I'm just going to cover up all the times just to be safe. And then we'll write down our to-do list because like I said, I'm going to try and plan and decorate as I go. So for the pens that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using my favorite pen for the stickers and that's the Pilot Ultra Fine Permanent Pen. Any permanent marker works really well, but this one's one of my favorites because the tip is so fine, if you can see that there. So you could use something like this. You could use a Sharpie, like ultra fine permanent marker. I really like this one because it's retractable, but when it comes to writing, I feel like my handwriting looks better with this one. So let's do our top priority. So our top priority definitely are our Black Friday orders because tomorrow is Black Friday and it it's going to be a little crazy, so. Write that down. Another priority is clearing out the backyard because um, we're going to be putting a cover, so. I'm just going to put backyard. Right now, there there's like no coverage in the backyard, and the girls are so picky when it comes to using the bathroom back there that if it's raining, they really need a little bit of coverage. So that, and then, oh, the um, monthly kits. They're shipping on the 5th. So I need to make sure I get those all taken care of. They're shipping for February. February is so pretty, you guys. I have to film a video on it. And then that last one, I'm not too sure yet. I'm going to leave that blank. And then when it comes to Stephanie's schedule, I feel like she requested some different days. Oh, I don't think it's for this week. So she's going to work 8 to 4 on Monday and Tuesday. And then 8 to 4 on Sunday, I think. We can change it, if anything. And then for um, my habit trackers... I'm going to write me time because when it gets really, this sounds really silly to write something like me time, but when it gets really stressful, I really, f I forget to take care of myself and I forget to just take a minute, relax, just not do something. I'm always doing something. So I'm going to write that down and as well as my skincare with the winter months, I've noticed uh, it's getting really dry. So need to do that. And then for writing on the actual planner pages, I'm just using this pen here that a friend gave to me at a planner meetup. It's a really fine point. I really like it and writes really, really nicely. I think I saw these maybe at, gosh, what's it called? Kino Kuniya or something like that. Um, I think I saw it there, but I'm not positive. So anyways, we're definitely going to need to clean the machines. I had somebody comment on um, Instagram that it seems like I clean my machines way too often, or not way too often, but really often, and we do. We have to clean it at least once a week. The print heads are like six feet long, so if we don't maintain it, it gets really gunky, and that's going to cost a lot if you don't take care of it. So we have to do that, and we always forget when we did it. So we're going to clean the machines and then we are just going to be working on Black Friday orders. I'm hoping that we'll be able to jam through them relatively quickly. If it was anything like last year, it was, it was amazing and overwhelming all at the same time. Um, so we'll see. Um, next up, I'm going to put this Does Someone Need a Hug sticker because it's Monday and I'm going to need a hug. <laughs> so it has the cute little raccoon that attacked him in the beginning of the, well, it wasn't the beginning of the movie, but you know when he's venturing off to go see his dad in New York and he comes across the, um, the raccoon and asks if he needs a hug. So, oop, put a crank in it. If you get a crank in your sticker, just take your fingernail and it rubs right out. So don't worry about that. Um, and then let's put a header and then we'll put a half box. And then we'll put a meal planner.
Like that. Let's put green. I don't know what I'm going to write on this yet, but I'm putting it. We'll try to get it a little closer. Oh, that five o'clock is showing. White out the six o'clock. And that is actually really crooked. So we're going to put that over. Just like that. It's still kind of crooked, but that's okay. <laughs> Let's just move on. Um, so the uh, meal planning stickers are these little utensils with the banners. I really like these. They're, I think they, co they come in really handy. I want to make them in different colors to put on the shop. I like doing it this way or with a cloud and the utensils. Why can't I get this where I want it to be? I'm going to start updating the website. I'm waiting. I don't want to do it right yet because of Black Friday. I don't want to mess it up. But I do want to start, um, how do I say this? Basically right now, if you have a regular size version of something and an itty bitty size version of something, there's two different listings and it gets really overwhelming. There's just so much to look at. Um, so I'm combining them. So you can go into one listing and they'll both be there under that one listing. So it'll be really nice. Um, it's going to take me a while because we have so many products, but going forward, any new product that I put on will be put on that way. Um, and I will slowly update all of them and it will be a lot easier. I'm not going to do it on Etsy, but I am doing it on the main site because the main site, when you click the variant that you want, say itty bitty or color variant, uh, it changes the picture for you. So you know exactly what you're picking out. So I'm just going to put this little stocking here and then let's put a full box which one do we want to put? Let's put, oh my God, Santa. And then we'll put this right under and then we'll put, oh, that's way too high. It's kind of too far over, but that's okay. So we have that and then let's put a checklist and we'll use a header first and then we'll put, we'll put a half box and then we need to remember that this is the day that the painters are coming. We're getting a bid to see how much it would be to paint the exterior of our home next year. It's nice to plan ahead because I think from what I remember they were saying, if we plan now, they give a discount. So I'm all about the discounts. <laughs> so we're gonna try and do that. The hardest part is picking out a color. Oh my gosh, do you guys ever, I don't know, I look at the house and then I look at the color schemes and it's like, will that color look good on this style home? Who knows? Hopefully they said that they'll do a color consult with me, so <laughs> we'll see. But I think it will look, it'll just look like a whole brand new place. Because when we, when we did the paint job for the inside, I was I'm shocked at what a difference it made. Sorry, I need to concentrate. Okay. So we have those hats down and then let's put a yellow box down. I hope we have room. Ooh. The only thing about the hourly is I always forget not to go flush up to that line. So we have that and then let's put the meal planner. Oh no, I'm covering the raccoon. Crap, uh, let's just scoot it down. I would put the yellow sticker over the meal planning sticker, but it will cover the utensils, so I can't do that. Okay, so that, and then let's write in here, the painters are coming at 2 p.m. p.m. 
So anyways, today again is Thanksgiving and normally I never go to Walmart. I don't like Walmart, um, but we went there because I had put up our Christmas decorations last night. We put up the Grinch. So I made this huge Grinch. Well, he's not huge. He's like, he's like four feet tall or three or four feet tall maybe. But anyways, we printed up this huge version of him and we stuck it to this hard piece of plastic, cut him out and then stuck him in the ground. So it looks like he's stealing the lights off of the house. So we just put a little bit of lights and uh, that's it, him and the lights. It's like the easiest way to decorate the house. We saw it on Pinterest and I, so I just had to make it. But in any case, we have the electrical cords outside and I am always a worry wart when it comes to fires. I don't know what it is, but I'm always paranoid when it comes to house fires. And so we're using outdoor extension cables and everything is fine, but I really wanted to get those um, extension cord covers for the connection just so nothing, I don't know, I just don't want any elements getting in there, any water or anything. So I thought that Walmart would have them. They do not have them. So I have to, I think I saw them at Target, so I will try there. But <laughs> what the thing about this story is that we were there and so t they're going to start their Black Friday sale tonight. And there was this lady and she was totally cutting into the pallets. The pallets that are like saran wrapped and they have big flags on them that are like don't open until 6 p.m. And so some guy came, like a worker came around and was like, hey, <laughs> those are for tonight. And she, she just totally played dumb. I was like, oh my gosh, like did she really think that she'd be able to buy that? Oh my, the, only at Walmart. <laughs> so it was really funny. But it was pretty busy because we went there and we went to Fred Meyer's to pick up a few last minute groceries. There were so many people out. It was kind of shocking. I didn't think we would see that many people. So anyways, putting down this half box. No real rhyme or reason. I'm trying to go against my usual where I put all of my um, checklists at the top. So we're just making a real staggered type of thing. Oh, planning as we go. So we have to do this checklist. So we need to check deposits. And then I started using this service called Instacart and Thrive. Thrive is like an online, kind of like a Costco type of deal for, I don't want to say organic food, but just like good for you food, like good quality food. And so, my gosh, it was amazing. I just put all my groceries in there for Instacart. We have like this free subscription right now. Um, and someone goes to the grocery store and picks up your groceries and brings it to the office for you. It's amazing. And so, especially with everything being so busy, uh, I've been totally abusing this because we're on that free trial. <laughs> so. I'm going to soak it up while I can. Um, so I'm going to use the Instacart and then I'm also going to place another Thrive order. And then we have to get more USPS bins because we definitely will have them all used up by Tuesday. And then we need to film the mystery kit video so it'll be ready to launch on the first you guys the mystery kit is so pretty this I'm so excited I'm not gonna say anything about it because I don't want to spoil it but if you want to see the spoiler definitely come back on the first so the next sticker that I'm using it says don't be a cotton-headed ninny muggin did you guys know I think his name's Ming Ming <laughs> I don't know you know when he's doing the just sketches and he's like, hey, Ming Ming. And he's like, hey, buddy, how many extra sketches did you get done? And he says like 84 or something like that. And everybody gasps. That elf is uh, from the Christmas story. I thought that was kind of cute. You know, Ralphie. Is this going to fit? Oh, just barely. We're going to make it work. Perfect. So we have the first half of the week done. I really, honestly, you guys, I'm not going to be filling out that many details after Monday and Tuesday because I have no idea what's going on after Monday and Tuesday. So 
we're just going to put in the rest of the stickers. That's how I plan. Um, I feel like a lot of in my life uh, kind of comes together within the just the next few days. Like I can only see a few days out in my life, so that's how I plan. Uh, and it comes out really handy for me because then I'm not scrambling and trying to move things around and it just works out better for me. Okay, so I'm going to put this. And so since I am not going to be doing any more planning, I'm just going to lay down the stickers. Sorry guys, I just realized that my camera stopped filming. So I put that sticker down, I put a header down, and now I'm putting the Etch-A-Sketch. The Etch-A-Sketch, I had to do it. Like I mentioned about the Etch-A-Sketches, that's the one that he can't make very fast. So I made some half boxes to look like the little Etch-A-Sketches. I think it looks really cute. So I put that down. I feel like I'm going to have a lot of extra stickers in this one, but... That's okay. I'd rather have too many stickers than not enough. And I feel like that's, this is happening because I scooted the date covers down and I soaked up all of that space with these stickers here. So it shortened everything by a lot. If you move that up and maybe this more flush to the bottom, you definitely will have more working space if you have a lot more going on. But I don't really have that much going on for the most part that I need to write down. I feel like most of the stuff that happens I kind of, I don't know, I don't really need to write it down because it's really repetitive. So we're going to do laundry for sure. Because by Thursday, I don't think I'm going to have anything left. So I'm putting that and then I'm just going to frame it in with some headers. And again, I just white it out the hours. Oh, I should have put, pull that up. Totally wasted that sticker, whoop. I'm gonna put it to do, ay ay ay. do I wanna put a to do header? See, so I wanna put a checklist, but I need to fit my meal planner in there. Maybe we can just trim it. So, we are going to put this down. Like that, and then we're gonna take this. Definitely need to trim it. So I'm going to try my best to just snip it right at the bottom of that candy. And maybe because, so this is the blunt edge. Oh crud, these stickers, these scissors are terrible. Um, Anyways, that is the blunt edge, so I'm going to use that as the top. Make that flush with the header. You won't notice it as much. Versus if I flipped it around, you'd see that little snaggly edge. Okay, so we have that, and then let's put the utensils. I do have some TVs to put down, although I need to check if my TV shows are on their stupid winter break thing that they always do. Oh, I hate when they do that. But I've been watching The Punisher on Netflix. Have you guys watched that? It has, so The Punisher is the, I forget his name, but he was in um, The Walking Dead in the very beginning. He has a really deep voice. But I, I like it so far. I think I'm almost done with it. I want to say there's like 13 episodes or something. We've been watching a few episodes every night. Okay, so we have that down. I don't need to wipe that out. Let's just put a header over it. But I've been watching that. I've been watching Jane the Virgin. I watched Jane the Virgin a long time ago when it first came out. I watched the first season, um, but I didn't get to watch any other season. Now it's up on Netflix, or it has been for a little while, so I've been watching that too. I brought a tiny TV to the office, <laughs> so when we are like perfing or something that's really kind of mind numbing, uh, we can watch TV while we do it so it's not as mind numbing. Because when you're perfing, you're just standing at like a big table and just popping stickers out of a really big sheet. When it's time to pack orders and stuff, we gotta turn off the TV so it's not distracting. But it's really nice to have that because we used to listen to Spotify and we have like a Sirius satellite connection, but 
I don't know, listening, it, you, it feels like you just listen to the same music over and over and over after a while. Oh, my camera battery's gonna die, hang on. Okay, thankfully I finally bought a second battery so I'm able to just swap them out and keep going before I would have to stop and I would forget what I was doing, it just <laughs> it was never good. So, anyways, the next full box we're putting is when he answers the phone. So we're going to put that down. Oh, we don't really have much space for anything fun here. Let's think. Let's put a decorative sticker. So we'll put mm, the meal planner first. The one good thing about having a restrictive diet is that you really don't eat out as much because it's not fun. <laughs> it's just... They, I don't know, I just don't want to be that type of person who goes in and has to make all these special, I don't know, it just, I have a hard time with the, this whole thing, believing that I need to eliminate it, but I'm going to go with what the doctor said, and <laughs> I'm doing it. I do feel a lot better, so I know it's not all in my head, but I just wish it wasn't true. So anyways, we're going to put down the elf shoes here. Ultimately, she wants me to remove, so she was like, gluten, you got to remove that 100% because I guess it stays in your body for a while. So anyways, I have to remove that. And then she's like, well, if you can also eliminate dairy and grains will help. I have like these inflammation tummy problems, right? And so I see where she's coming from, but... She's going to rob me of all my happiness. <laughs> I rely so much. I know it's unhealthy, but I really rely on food to make me happy sometimes. And if you're going to be taking all this stuff away around the holidays when I don't have any family and I just give me a break, you know, <laughs> so I'm going, I'm trying. It's definitely a little easier because I don't have family here. Zach is really, you know, really supportive and just goes with the flow, but good gravy. Anyways, let's put down these full, <laughs> talk about a Debbie Downer way to end the video. Yeah, it's like, well, we're on the last two days, let's grumble about life. See, it's so much easier to grumble about life <laughs> instead of just saying I'm thankful that that is the least of my problems. If just eliminating a few things is my problem, then that's a good problem to have, you know? Okay, so son of a nutcracker, and then let's put, I want to use some more of these quarter boxes, or not quarter, but half boxes, so we're going to put that down, and two, by not eating out, I can save more money. You really have no idea what they're putting in the food either, it may taste good, but there's a reason why it tastes so good. Okay, so that, and then let's put, I want to put a checklist. So I'm going to put the to-do header, and then checklist, and then we'll just have Sunday, and then we'll be all done. You guys, I survived an entire video talking. I am so proud of myself. I feel like I just, I don't have anything to talk about. Nothing happens to me, so I don't know. Maybe it was... A blessing in disguise that Zach dropped a can of aerosol on my foot. He felt so bad. I, I, you know when I'm in pain when I just go silent. Like I didn't say a word. It fell on my foot and I just gasped. And I just needed to take a minute to not fall apart. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, it made me think of when the mover dropped the treadmill on his foot and his foot broke. Thank God all I have is a bruise and some swelling because I cannot imagine what he went through. I hope he's doing okay. Okay, so we have that and then let's put down this one here. And then we just have a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna put down the last list here so again that and then these little peppermint candies 
Oh my gosh, I didn't use all of those icons. <laughs> I didn't use a lot of stuff. Man. I'm telling you, that's what happens when I talk. I don't pay attention. Okay. Let's put that and then let's put this narwhal. And then we'll find places to put those icons. We can sneak them in. So we have that there, and can we fit a half box right there? I think we can. Let's put a red one. So I think we just need to lift up this utensil a little bit. Let's just take it all the way off so we don't get in the way. Okay, perfect. So let's zoom out and then get all of these other stickers on there. That's really cute. So we have a lot of half boxes left. That isn't gonna happen. Um, but I can use these things. So we're gonna put the little planner down for plan with me on Sunday. I don't know what day I'm doing a crock pot, but just so, so I don't forget to use it, let's pretend like it's gonna be on Thursday. And if it's not, we can just move it. Uh, I'm going to put it on the bottom so I can still write what the crock pot meal is going to be. Lazy day? That ain't happening. I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe it will. Well, let's put it on the first and if it doesn't we can just pluck it off. Maybe we can have a lazy morning. So we'll put that. I don't think we're going to be doing a date night because we do not have time for that. I don't have time for anything right now. <laughs> I feel like. Um, this one, we definitely need to put this at the end of day, and that's just to unlock the trash and put it out to the trash. And then Tuesday, we check the deposits. So let's just put that up here on the top. And then grocery shopping. Oof. Instacart. We're just going to put that right there. And then this little coffee drink. I need seven more of them so I can put them on every single day. <laughs> but we definitely do need to buy coffee. Um, and there's no way on earth we are going out this weekend to any type of retail because it's going to be crazy. So I'm going to put it on Monday to pick some up. And the rest, well, let's put these little decorative stickers. Maybe we can use this mistletoe on top of I'm gonna white this out first actually so that blue goes away like that and then we'll just put that there that's cute and then might as well white this one out too And then we'll put, let's put Rudolph up here. So we'll put him up there. And then we have this Christmas light. Oh, I'm so sad I didn't use all of these. You know what I'm gonna do, actually? Mm. I'm gonna take the, oh shoot. Well, I think we're going to do some rearranging. I will show you on Instagram how I changed things up slightly. Um, I feel like this weekend banner is sucking up a lot of space. Like, I could totally put something fun there. Maybe if we put this up top. Oh, crud. We'll just put them over here for now. Well, so it's not a perfect fit. Oh, this white out, I did a terrible job. We're just gonna fold it over. And now, okay, so it's gonna require a little bit of maneuvering, but I can wiggle in some Etch-a-Sketches and stuff. Those are too cute not to use. So let's put, oh crud stickers everywhere. So we're going to put the Etch-a-Sketch here. And then we'll put this header and then we'll put this checklist. 
And then we'll do something right there too. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you guys. So this week I was working from home and I had the back door open so the dogs could go out in the yard and all of a sudden Pixie is having a cow. Don't know why she's going all nuts. So I look out there if my neighbor isn't sticking his finger through the fence like this and scratching sushi and Pixie's like not having it at all. It was really funny. He was, she's like, come here girl, like trying to be nice and she was not having it. But I thought that was so cute that he was trying to make friends with the dogs. <laughs> he was laying down some grass in his yard so he was out there for a while. Okay, so we have that and now we have this little space here. It's really not big enough for a for anything. I totally ruined this. Crud. Um let's put this. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's put a header. We can figure this out. <laughs> let's put a header. And then another header. This is why I love having so many blank headers in the um, kits because you can use them to fill the space like this. And then we can put this. Perfect. So now we can write something fun there and also I can move this guy because he's kind of going to get in the way. He's not very sticky because all the white out is stuck on him. <laughs> I'm going to just smush him on there. Okay. Ta-da! So, I <laughs> still have some stickers left over. Things might change. I might have to use these guys. And, yeah, that is it. Oh, we made it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Uh, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!